beans are just a little too wet yet. They're about 16%. So we're gonna take the 9870 home. It's gonna be done on beans. We're gonna start picking corn with the eight row corn head. Just leave the big dog up here to finish beans. There's only about 150 acres left. There's like 20 acres left in this farm. There's about 60 across the road and there's about 60 back home. We didn't really wanna be waiting around on corn. We really wanna get going. It's already October 8th. So just wanna get started, get that 9870 switched over and just start getting after it. Today just might be the day. The day we dump our first load into Area 21. Woo this is exciting. Gonna grab the 8400 and the grain cart, check over the fluids, get this thing uh, ready to go. Oh yeah, that's some fresh oil right there. That was Chief there, just driving the truck on the gravel, making rounds, just getting everything packed down, getting that gravel smoothed out. Bucky just left with the combine about 15, 20 minutes ago. Just getting the tractor fueled up. We're gonna go meet him at the field and uh, see if we can start hammering out some corn. This is our favorite time of year, no doubt about it. I'm in the 8400 John Deere and a Kinsey 840 grain cart. We don't normally use this a lot, but since we got the second combine and the eight row this year running in corn, we'll definitely need the third cart. Okay, here we are. Day one corn picking out here trying to get the machine set up for corn. Looks like I, I adjusted it a little bit from the very first pass I made. I still got a little bit coming out the back, so I think I'm going to turn the fan down a little more and open up the chaffers to hair. I think I need to close my deck places a little more to get a little bit of head chatter, butt showing. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Maybe I need to turn down my... You kind of want your cobs. The, the bigger the cob, the better it's doing. So I got a few that are kind of chopped up. I think I'll turn my rotor speed down to the hair as well. But literally, in the first five minutes of corn picking, it's been better than the past 15 days of bean cutting. It's just the way it goes. Already got half a hopper full. Just literally cut three end rows here, 100 feet. So it's awesome. First load of corn, dumping on the go. There she goes. We got the eight row here, 9870, 8400, and the Kinsey 840. Picking corn, unloading on the go. Officially, corn 2021 has begun. Sorry, it's just really exciting. Plan today, Saturday, October 9th. Plan today, Bucky, me, Mustard, and Badger. We're gonna plan to pick corn. We're gonna try to get a couple trucks loaded, and we're gonna go, and I think we're gonna go dump the first loads at Area 21. First grain cart load of 2021. Yeah, buddy. Imagine that, waiting on a semi. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Oh, look at it. Corn. Oh my goodness. That 9870, oh boy. All you case guys and your clean grain samples, yeah, they do a good job, but 9870, 
can do just as good. Hey everybody, this is Badger. I'm heading down the road to go get our inaugural dump of corn. I should say a load of pristine yellow number one corn for our first dump of the year on 2021. Our electrician uh, will be coming sometime mid-afternoon. We're going to dump things and just make sure everything's working good before we go all crazy and willy-nilly and then Monday we can hit the ground running hard. So uh, stay tuned and uh, be ready for more. His dad's not messing around. He's bringing the big dog. Eagerly waiting for some corn. When there's one, there's two. Oh, we got to work a little field drive there. Bobcat 2020. Corn picking has begun. We can pick corn all day! Badger and mustard just rolled in. We're ready to go. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> right through the corn. Gotta fold the auger up with this truck because I got the tall stacks on here. So far so good, sample's looking pretty clean, Bucky might not actually know what he's doing in there. Decker just got dumped, Bucky's going to finish off and just top it off a little bit, get me loaded. We're loaded, Red looks pretty clean, time to get staged and ready at Area 21 for the inaugural dump. Dad's over in the Bobcat truck, going to get in and loaded too. They'll probably all meet back over there and learn how to use all the new stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Well, I hate to say it, but you guys must have listened to the Badger. That corn sample is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, like, I just wanted to eat that corn. It was so clean. It looked like sweet corn up there. Tell you what, that 9870, that does do a clean sample. Good job, Bucky. DJ28. Mustard's got the first load, so get ready. 2021 harvest. Corn harvest is on. And it is full throttle, foot to the floor, dust flying. We do not go over 25 mile an hour on gravel roads. Let's do it. Okay, just got back to the shop, sitting on the scale, got my ticket, got weighed in. Looks like Bucky and DJ got me a little heavy, but not too big of a deal. This farm's just a mile down the road. I'm gonna get pulled up and staged, ready to pull in and dump, wait for dad to get back with his load. I'm sure Derek and Decker will come back over here, all gather up and probably have someone come out and show us how to use this thing. Might get my truck onto the concrete. See how this goes. I'm gonna chill right here and wait to see what happens. Just kind of got a temporary desk with our moisture sampler set up in here. Cool. Fold out table will do for now. We've got some log sheets that we fill out for every dump. Every dump we love, we always check moisture, write the test weight down, and then some of the field information so we can keep track and keep all the fields in order so we have know who has what at the end of the year. First moisture sample of the year, see if this thing is working right. A little bit, it's got to think. Oh, here we go, 17.7. Test weight, 57 and a half. A little wetter than I thought it was gonna be, so. It's like, we'll have to do a little bit of drying. You're going to be using this pit? Yeah. You're going to set the heat pit and auto and not the wet pit. That's when you go to dump corn that it has a sensor in there and then it knows the conveyor is going to start. But nothing will happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you know. Okay. 
a, a, a checklist to go through until we get in a routine. Is it, do we need to climb up there and make sure the lid's open? Right. Is the leg running now? Yep. Holy Nikes! in here, Remy, Dogs, Blaze, Dixie. Okay, here we go. Moving. There she goes. Okay. Should hear something kicking on. Don't hear it kicking on. Oh, there she goes. Quieting down a little bit. You know, everything's new. This is load one. It's been 14 months and 355 days since we have had a Ben grain drying system. And Today we are dumping our first load. Wish you were here, Dad, to see this. You'd love it. See in the funnies. That is our flagship saying around here. Load one, going in. Later. Well, that's all the calls you want to be in the front, so that's how the rear of the hopper is. You really want to want to be back. There it was, first load. Very anticlimactic. Oh. Loads unloaded. We're heading out. Corn harvest 21 is on. Hammer down sun. The Bobcat is on the prowl. Now you may think this is just a normal gravel road driving in central Iowa. But you know it is a really sweet looking deal in the fall. Is a semi sitting in a cornstalk field, bright red with a black trailer. Unload the car. I've got two trucks here at the airport. Look at this. Here we go. Nothing's running. I'll crank the hopper open. Go up to the front one. Crank it open. There it goes. Put a load in the sample and we're ready to go. Later. Right now we're filling up the dryer for the first time. So it's pretty interesting. So it's the next day here and I didn't really explain or finish what we were doing yesterday. They came down, we filled the dryer up. We were going to start the dryer, but we didn't have enough corn to keep it going. We we're gonna go pick some more corn and then it started raining, so we had to stop. This is what we ended up doing next. What? what are we doing here? I came here to get a silver combine. Nah, just kidding. Came here to get brooms. 
Those are pretty big brooms. Is this 30 or 30? You start pushing a pile of hay with that and start getting sore. It's going to make the YouTube. Good.